I've always been enjoying waking up earlier than everyone else. It brings a sort of calm state of mind. It releases anxiety and most importantly, it allows me to have some time to only focus on myself. Unfortunately, with our busy life, having some time to ourselves rarely happens. So I consider myself very lucky to be a morning person by nature and being able to start my day off with a full cup. My number one goal with my morning routine is to be able to start the day with action instead of reaction. So I usually try to avoid going on my phone because then I would be straight turning to reaction mode. Instead, I do a few things to calm my mind to prepare mentally for all the challenges I need to face later on the day. I have been loving starting my day with a ginger lemon tea which I sip on while I listen to The Nutcracker and journaling. The Nutcracker music used to be my favorite when I was a child and it always brings so much joy when I'm listening to it, especially now that Christmas is coming. They say that in order to have your dream life, you need to become the person who you would be with that dream life. And this is the analogy I'm following. I try to visualize the best version of me, that girl who already has her dream life. And I ask myself, what would she do today? How would she act? How would she feel? And I try my best to act as if I was already her. And my that girl has a really good foundation in the form of habits. It's cold outside and I'm taking the dogs before I go to the gym. So usually I put my gym clothes on and then I put some warm clothes on for the dog walk and then I can just go to the gym straight away and I don't have to bother changing. It's my little trick. Building and maintaining habits are hard. So the easier we make them happen, the more consistent we will become. We have habits to have something to be able to grasp when things are uncertain, changing or too busy. Habits can become our anchor. Let's go with the doggies. They can help us build confidence and they can make us feel more aligned with who we are. The reason we need a morning routine is not because every successful people have one or because we want to punish ourselves for being up early. It helps us to accomplish more things on autopilot instead of wasting energy on decision making. The more habits I build, the more things I can do on autopilot and the easier my life will be. Our brain desperately tries to save energy. This is why sometimes we don't even realize we drove to work because it was so natural, we didn't even think about it. Once you're truly in the habit of doing what you want to do, your life will become easier. I'm gonna drink my matcha now and um, I'll go to the gym. I really try to leave at least one hour before I drink any caffeinated drink because it's not the best to have caffeine right away. I find a big difference in my energy as well when I have some time between waking up and the matcha or coffee. I switch to soy milk from oat milk in the morning because soy milk has protein in there and it will help your blood sugar to be balanced. It's something I'm working on currently and I find it very fascinating actually how pairing different macronutrients can have a huge effect on your body, your energy, your mood and your blood sugar. It's just such an easy way to help my body that I try to follow this rule. But it doesn't mean that I'm restricting myself in any way. I just add protein to my first meal and I try to have my matcha with soy milk or you can use almond milk or pea, flax, hemp, any, any milk that's high in protein. In the morning, you will have a balanced blood sugar if you do it like this. At least that's what I read. So it's 7 a.m. now and I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll make myself some greens powder for drinking there. So cold! Oh my god! Oh my god! Woo. 
the Discord, I'm always thinking about those animals who live outside and I'm so sad for them and also of course people who don't have homes it's sad but okay Ooh. okay let's go to the gym I'm gonna chain legs and booty today and I am actually excited I'm excited to do it I, I feel like I'm full of energy this morning because I had such a good night sleep and when that happens and that rarely happens because usually I have terrible nightmares and just a game changer you know and I slept more than eight hours so woo, I'm vibing this morning I'm so lucky that the gym is like not far away at all it would definitely make it more difficult to go and you know more excuses because I find that building habits comes down to how easy can you make them happen so this helped me so much or like putting on my workout clothes as soon as I wake up that's gonna just help me because you know if I have to take them off without exercising that would just be embarrassing for myself and I don't want to let myself down so it's just these little tiny decisions we make throughout the day help us to be a better version of ourselves and help us to create habits without really really trying too hard okay so like yesterday I went to the gym and I didn't have the motivation to do anything I decided that okay I'm just gonna go down and do something and I went there without, you know, expectations, but I knew if I go to the gym and I'm actually there, physically there, I might as well just work out. So I did a nice workout yesterday, even though I didn't feel like it in the beginning. And I ended up feeling so good because I pushed through. Anyway, I'm here in the gym, I'm gonna park and then we're gonna train. Yeah, let's go. Negative experiences has the tendency to have a greater impact on us than our positive experiences. We will more likely to remember them so we can avoid the situation in the future. So lately I have been trying to condition my brain to remember how good I felt after things I didn't initially want it to do. I almost never want to work out, but I always, always feel so much better after I do. So when the voice says just skip and rest. I remind myself how amazing it feels after when I move and that just helps me to actually show up and do it. We tend to give up when the voice that says stop is louder than our actual voice. Instead of just hearing that little voice coming up with excuses, learn how to react to every single excuse and counter argument it. Don't let it convince you that you cannot do something. Don't let it beat your potential because you're so much more capable and powerful and enough than that voice is telling you. Don't let it own you. Another key step in my morning routine is nourishing my body in the best way possible. I always make sure to have a big wholesome breakfast because life can get in the way and we might skip lunch or dinner or we end up having something that is not that good for us. It's only natural. But this makes it extra important to start our day off right. We need energy and that comes from food. So please have breakfast if you can. It is truly the most important meal of the day.
The last step of my morning routine before I dive right into my day is meditation. I just recently realized why meditation is actually important. We meditate to be able to stay resilient and mindful in the hard situations, not just when we are actually sitting and practicing. We need to do it to be able to implement it in our daily lives, especially when things get hard. I heard this quote from Jay Shetty, who is one of my biggest inspirations. The greatest detachment is not being away from everything. It's being close to everything and not letting it consume you. We all face challenges every single day, expected and more likely unexpected ones. So the least we can do is to learn how to cope with them without letting those experiences affect our mental health that much and lead us being angry, upset or sad. Mindfulness is an amazing tool to stay in control of our minds. It's free and it's available every single second of the day. Just by focusing on breathing, we can snap out of the negative thought patterns. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.